Hello everyone and welcome to Grandstand Sports Data. In today's video, we're diving deep into our comprehensive 2024 NBA season projections based on our statistical model. We will break down our model's predictions for the Eastern Conference and Western Conference and identify the bets for division winners, playoff teams, and of course the NBA Finals champion. Plus, we'll give you a sneak peek at what's to come this season, including the content we will be putting out for the NBA. So let's get started. Okay, so let's take a look at our models, projections, and simulations. As you can see, we've run the model, I want to say, almost close to 10,000 times. And these are, I would say, I would call them the average wins and losses for those 10,000 simulations. As you can see, we have just starting with the Atlantic, the Boston Celtics coming in at the number one seed at 65 and 17. Then we have the Knicks coming in at number two. So number two in the whole East at 56 and 26. We have the Philadelphia 76ers grabbing that four seed at 45 and 37. You can see some teams that missed the playoffs like the Raptors and Nets. Moving on to the Central, Bucks getting that division 49 and 33 with the three seed. Cleveland Cavs will steal the five seed at 44 and 38. And the Indian and Pacers will be the seventh seed at 42 and 40 with the Bulls and Pistons missing the playoffs. Rounding it out with the Southeast Division, you could see at 500, 41 and 41, the Miami Heat will steal that sixth seed, while the Orlando Magic, with a losing record, will be 40 and 42, but grab that final eighth seed. I know that there's play in implications, and you know that factors in as well. What we do is we basically just simulate it, and it's almost like the old playoff schedule, one through eight, and that's how we give it to you. Remember, these simulations are based on odds. You also have to fact you also have to know that these are factoring in just health. So a team that gets injured, you know, if the Celtics lose Tatum and Brown, they're not going 65 and 17. You obviously have to put that into you know the equation as well. But we're going to show you some of the bets that go along with this in a few slides. Now moving on to the West projections now. We have the OKC Thunder in the Northwest Division going 56 and 26, grabbing that number one seed. Denver Nuggets will come in second for both the Northwest and the whole conference at 53 and 29. Minnesota Timberwolves coming in in third for that division, but fourth for the whole conference at 50 and 32, with the Jazz and Blazers missing the playoffs and being one of the worst teams in the league. So a very good lottery pick for those two teams. As you can see from the Lakers, Kings and Warriors, all and also the Suns, all four will be moving on to the playoffs in the Pacific Division, with the Lakers being the three seed, Kings being the sixth, Warriors at the seventh, and the Suns at the eighth. With the Clippers actually missing with the 500 record at 41 and 41. One team making it out of the South and Southwest and making it to the playoffs will be the 50 and 32 Dallas Mavericks at the five seed, while the Pelicans, Rockets, Spurs, and Grizzlies miss out in that specific scenario there. Now, based on our models predictions, here are the teams that we believe are strong bets to make or miss the playoffs. We found that the best odds were to compare five different sports books. We went with BetMGM, FanDuel, DraftKings, ESPN Bet, and then finally Caesars. We have highlighted some of the odds that our model thought was favorable. So as you can see, with when we say favorable, we mean less juice. Golden State Warriors to make the playoffs at minus 120 money. That's not too bad right there if you like the Warriors to just make it to the playoffs. So you can see that the market kind of thinks that there's a good chance that they could actually miss out. Houston Rockets to not make. They're actually a coin flip to make or miss the playoffs. We got no at minus 110. That means that the yes would also be at minus 110. Lakers now to make the playoffs at minus 110. We feel like all their analytics and all of their, I guess, advanced statistics are showing that they're actually going to be a good ball, a good ball club this upcoming season. Me fundamentally handicapped, and I'm a little bit shy of them. But as you can see, the model will show you what they think of them. Memphis to miss the playoffs is at plus money. We got a no here at plus 185. I think that Marcus Smart is soft. I think so. I kind of agree with this model. You know, will Morant be who he is? I don't know. But I just think as a team, they're a little bit soft and smart. He tends to be, you know, a guy that kind of overvalues himself. So he could be a problem in the locker room. Next would be no for the New Orleans Pelicans. Just like we said, we're looking at some of the odds that have not that much juice in the Pelicans for a no. They're actually favorable to make the playoffs. We don't see it here in the model. So all of these are representative of the model and what they think. It's not exactly our own opinion. My opinion really doesn't matter. We run the model simulations and then we basically make that same selection through the bet. So those are the teams that the model thinks is going to miss and make the playoffs and the odds that correspond with them. 
Okay, so let's talk about some win totals and the over-under for them. Uh, our model has identified several teams where the market might be overestimating or underestimating their potential. So this is where our model has, you know, bet compared to the odds. You can see some of the plus money. We'll jump to those instead of going through all of them. You, you, you can see from just looking at all the teams here, it's really based on the, the win total, and then it gets very close to almost a coin flip, minus 110 odds. You can see them fluctuating, minus 105 in some cases, minus 115, but mostly minus 110 odds. Some that we were favorable that we thought, Golden State getting under 43 and a half. The model thought that was an advantageous bet at plus 105. Model also thought the under at 43 and a half of the Rockets was a plus 105 and advantageous to the model. So uh, Minnesota now on the under. They're under 52 and a half wins. That would be plus money at plus 100. So the model likes that favorable bet. They also like plus money for Orlando and their win total at 47 and a half to go under at plus 105. Phoenix Suns to go under 47 and a half at plus 110. Then we have the San Antonio Spurs at 35 and a half total to go under according to the model at plus 100. And then rounding it out, Utah. If you like those plus monies, uh, Utah at over 28 and a half wins to go plus 100. You want to pause, take a look at all the teams you can. We're just showing you some of the plus money, more advantageous bets if you're one of those guys who likes to seek, uh, guys or girls that like to seek that plus money return. Now let's move on to some of the division winners that our model thinks will, you know, pan out. Uh, Boston Celtics, obvious here. They are the minus 175 favorite to win that Eastern Atlantic division. As you can see, the Mavericks would be plus money at plus 125. Uh, Lakers would be plus 450 to win that Pacific division. So the model really likes that plus 450 number for the Los Angeles Lakers. Miami Heat would be plus 180 to win their division. Bucks would be minus 120. And the OKC Thunder would be minus money as well at minus 145. So that's what the model has in terms of their bets for the specific division winners. Okay, so how do the playoff predictions shape up? Well, we took our model, we ran the simulation for the regular season, and those regular season numbers, now we took historical success when it comes to playoffs, took those same numbers and run the simulation. We have the Boston Celtics defeating the Los Angeles Lakers in the NBA Finals, four games to two. As you can see, their path to victory would have been the Milwaukee Bucks in the Eastern Conference Final, while the Lakers would have defeated the OKC Thunder, four games to three. Now, I don't necessarily agree with the model in this aspect. I do think the Boston Celtics, they're the favorite to win the title. They should win the title. That's how I picture it. But the Lakers to get there, that's where I kind of come off of the model. Uh, moving on to the second round matchups, the Celtics would defeat the 76ers four games to two, while the Bucks would defeat the Knicks four games to three. I'd like to leave a little asterisk there and tell you that it's based on health and it's based on, you know, no changes to the lineup, trades and all of that. So that obviously doesn't happen throughout the regular season. So you can see a little difference there. You know, the Bucks always not at full health come playoff time, but I just should mention that. Uh, also, second round for the West, you could see the Thunder would be defeating the Timberwolves in seven games, while the Lakers would be defeating the Nuggets in seven games. Some of the first round matchups and some of the teams involved, you'd see the Celtics defeating the Magic four games to one. 76ers would defeat the Cavs. Bucks would defeat the Heat in six games, and the Knicks would defeat the Pacers in six games. Thunder would defeat the Suns in seven. Wolves would defeat the Mavericks in seven. And then the Lakers would defeat the Kings in six, while the Nuggets defeated the Warriors in six. So... That's how the model has run the simulations. I kind of come off of the the Lakers making it to the finals. I think that the West is very strong compared to the East. I think you also saw that in the projections where, you know, you saw an Eastern team like Orlando be two games under 500 and still make the playoffs, whereas the West was really deep. One through eight, they really have a good chance. I think there's some guys, uh, some guys, some teams like the Kings and Warriors that are not necessarily set up to win the whole thing yet. But if they can make some trades at the deadline, like the Warriors kind of get that three-headed monster back and say, you know, they let go of Thompson, but maybe they can gain it in some other places, that's when you can make them a real contender. But like I said, this is simulated through a, you know, preseason simulation. Got to remember, health and trades do factor in as the season go on. So the model thinks these are going to be the two conference winner. What are the odds for them? Well, the Celtics to win the East are a plus 155. That is not huge odds right there. So they're almost expected. They're very close to expected to winning the Eastern Conference, while the Lakers would be a plus 1,600. So if the model happens to be right, that plus 1,600 is not a bad bet right there if you're a Lakers fan and think that they will go deep. 
And finally, just to wrap it up, here we have our NBA Finals winner, which would be the Boston Celtics. What would be the odds for them? Well, we got them at the best possible odds at plus 315, just according to the model and what the simulation has told us. That would be the best odds for that simulation. Me, I don't know. This would be the third year in a row where the model has the Boston Celtics expected to win the NBA championship. It's only happened the last year. The year before, they didn't meet the expectations and lost getting there to the Miami Heat. So, But the model is very... They love the Celtics. They love the Celtics from 1 through 8. They love the numbers. They love the deep dive in terms of the analytics. The four factors of basketball are also included into the model. If you guys don't know about that, take a quick Google search. Basketball can be, it could be handicapped a lot just over the four factors of basketball. So their analytics surpass everyone by almost a mile. And the Celtics, I don't want to say expected to win the championship, but with these odds, they're very close to be expected to win the NBA Finals. So as we gear up for the NBA season, here's what you can expect from Grandstand Sports Data. We'll be bringing you obviously those monthly power ratings videos and in-depth breakdowns of individual matchups when we can. Usually you'll see that after the NFL. If you're familiar with our weekly matchups for the NFL, we'll be doing much of the same for the NBA just once the NFL is over. So as you can imagine, the NFL takes a lot of our time while their season is ongoing. You'll still get our model analysis and predictions. But we're also introducing a trends and angles segment and diving deeper into the fundamental factors. So make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our detailed coverage. But as you can see, we'll be covering mostly all of this briefly through the NFL season. But once NFL is over, we'll be getting deeper into the NBA along with the NHL. So here are all the fundamental factors that we will be covering in the upcoming NBA season. As you can see, we're going to be doing pace. So base is going to be basically a head-to-head -head matchup between the two teams. And whatever team has the better pace, that's the team that will have the edge in that particular factor. Same thing is going to happen for net rating. So a team with the better net rating will get the edge in that matchup. Rest differential. If you're familiar with our NFL matchups, all this is is the team with the more rest is going to have the edge in that matchup. Travel. Now, some sharp handicappers over time have thought that teams who travel from time zone to time zone in the NBA actually have less of an advantage. So we're going to track that. And a certain instance would be if the Lakers traveled to the Boston Celtics, they jump in almost three time zones, then we would give the edge to the Celtics in that specific matchup. Next will be recent performance or blowout dogs. Also, if you're used to our NFL videos, teams coming off a 10-point or more loss tend to get undervalued by the market. So we would go and we would place a bet on them. So that's going to be the edge in that specific factor. Next would be rivalry or division unders. This is teams who play each other more often, tend to know the op opposition's offensive patterns, so therefore their team there tends to be divisional unders or unders for the total. On the schedule, we like to do the fade home favorites on a back-to-back. -back. So some sharp handicappers believe home teams will take their foot off the pedal in the second game of a back-to-back -back at home, because of the teams tired from the previous night, plus being at home and more relaxed. So that's something we want to take a look at. Next will be motivation. So tanking teams. We're going to look at this after 55 games of the season. So you start to see the playoff push in the landscape. And you're going to want to fade those teams at the bottom of the standings as they tend to try to get the best chance in the lottery. Next would be contrarian road dogs. And these are teams that are receiving less than 30% of the bets on the road as a dog tend to get overlooked in the market. Therefore, we would place a bet on them. Same goes for totals for the over. Uh, so if the over is being bet 70% or more, go the other way as the market may be overlooking that under. Next would be what we called crazy overs. We couldn't really find a good title. Usually maybe extreme overs would be a better name for it. But this is games that have extremely high totals tend to still go over. So we set it at total at a 230 points. Usually when a total is set at 230 points or more, that game usually still goes over. Final will be the fade. Uh, fading favorites at minus one and a half. So you're going to fade teams that are a minus one and a half favorite. And this is for some reason, majority of the bets are 50-50 on all other numbers. But for some odd reason, teams that are favored by one, minus one and a half often lose outright more than usual. So that's something that we want to take a look at. We'll be looking at all these factors. We're going to try to do 
most of them through the NFL season, but it will be more daily use once the NFL season is over. But we'll get to it as much as we can during the NFL season. But you got to remember, we do cover the NFL very extensively. So like always, we'd like to thank you guys for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give a thumbs up and share it with your fellow NBA fans. Don't forget to subscribe to Grandstand Sports Data for more expert analysis and betting strategies throughout the 2024-2025 NBA season. We're excited to have you guys here, and we'll see you in the next one.